I'm slightly nervous, but really, I should be more nervous considering what I'm about to do. We are going to bust yo rust. <laughs> WD-40 it and then you use your little Ryobi handheld scrubber and you put the brass wiring on it it works now I have to have a tetanus shot the guy came out with a wheelbarrow filled with barbell weights it's beautiful because that means it's free. This has rust. I got rust stuck in my fingers. There's two basketball rings outside that have rust. Other things have rust. Now we're gonna try something. It's not a rust remover, it's a rust converter. I'm slightly nervous, but really I should be more nervous considering what I'm about to do. I'm gonna bust your rust. Give this a whirl. This is from Buddings. Rust Buster. You know it's serious when it's a buster. Okay, well I did it. Well, like I don't think anything happened at all. Hey, that was a bit of a, a let down. So I've already read the instructions and the danger warnings. Um, I looked it up on the Bunnings website because this here at the back just tells you read the instructions and then it doesn't give you any. I read it and then I just went and watched a YouTube video instead. I think I'm gonna watch the video again. It's just like a different color of rust. It, it says when it's completely dry you can paint it, so I'm gonna do that. Wear gloves, wear eye protection. Oh yeah. Don't get it on your skin. That's the best look I've ever had. But then a piece of rust and brass. It's stuck in your finger and you spend the next 45 minutes trying to get it out. Then you realize you've embedded a piece of brass covered in rust. I have to go have a big needle. It's just typical I've done this. A barbell that needs de-rusting. We need to get rid of all the rust. my face mask these are my oven cleaning gloves I haven't got anything stronger I'm wearing my running jacket so if something does hit me hopefully it'll bounce off after we do the rust I'm gonna paint you know how big the needles are for a tetanus shot they're massive you know I've never had one I've never had a tetanus I always got out of it my entire life I got out of having it mm -hmm. now I have to have one I had two lunches it's the first thing I need to do so I need to clean the basketball ring One's gonna be black and one's gonna be purple. Keep it cool. 
inquiring about Wilson 3x3 basketballs. Everyone wants the blue and yellow one for like 30 bucks. You can have a brand new black jet ball, which is exactly the same ball, it's only black, for 20 bucks if you buy three of them. But no, everybody just is in love with the two-tone color and don't understand how awesome the hustle ball is. It's an Olympic barbell, I've got it for free. I used a half a bottle of the small 250ml rust buster thing just to do that. I mean, it's a rust converter, so it's basically changed. Gave it the old Ryobi drill with the brass bristle brush. So a lot of effort actually went into that and a lot of new skills. like an hour worth of time so I used the entire bottle of the rust stuff only on the barbell and the stuff that would just come off just fell off as soon as the drill touched it and the stuff that's not coming off at all is just changing color so that is converting yeah you know, just like let it dry and I just steam cleaned it just to see what happened I also vacuumed it just to make sure there's no like metal The last few days have been like a lot of work. Like the first day with the golf stuff was a lot of work. Today, trying to get rid of the rust because I'm learning how to do it. it, just took longer. The money you get back on this stuff would be a lot. We're like 250 bucks there. But right now it's worthless, worth, worth nothing. It's turned white. Yeah, this is the bit that's just stayed on. I'm gonna prime that and then paint it a matte black. to be wearing like a gas mask. Sold the bed, sold the painting, sold two basketballs, sold two scooters. Actually just advertised like one for 10 or two for 15 and the guy ended up giving us 20 bucks. He really liked the yellow. How's that? Like that's the color I made and he said like the reason he came is because he liked the yellow color. rust off and then I thought later that was silly don't ever try and get rust off bolts just unbolt them get rid of them and just get new bolts from bunnies and then you have fresh bolts I put my hand down on the floor for leverage and then I felt a very sharp object enter into my ring finger worrisome because you know rust and tetanus we looked it up and that's an, another myth of the 90s you know as 90s children like we get told all sorts of things like like when I was sick when I was a kid the doctor told my mum to give me ice cream to soothe my sore throat that was caused from a runny nose. I just got sicker and sicker and sicker because I was having more and more dairy products shoved down my throat. Well, my husband looked up tetanus and apparently it's a myth that it's not rust that gives you tetanus. It's dirt. It's soil. If you cut yourself on anything at any time in any possible location, you could have tetanus. I had a piece of metal go into my finger and it was a rusty piece of metal. So I was like, hmm. Should I believe the myth or not? It's like so ingrained in me to believe this. I just cleaned those golf clubs, all the soil all over the, the back concrete. And that's exactly where I did the rust. And that's exactly where the rust went in. So it's possible that that rust hit soil from another piece of equipment and then went into my finger. So like, uh, only could this happen to me where I could make sure soil gets into my finger.
back in today, I never intended to spend this much time away. The longer I spend away, the more bugs are going to move in. And, uh, I'm terrified at this point. The very last project I did was the barbell. The very next day, I had people just like lining up on Facebook, sort of like battling it out, all saying like, oh, I'll come now, I'll come now. See, I was uh, going away that same day. I had to leave the garage at 12 p.m. So I said, whoever can get here at 11. Anyway, a guy came and I told him like that I had refurbished the bar and that it was my first attempt. It was the rust buster. I was uh, trialing it on weight plates. That's not finished. That's just, just testing it out and put it on the barbell. So you dip the a microfiber cloth into the solution of the rust buster and then you just wipe it on the barbell. And I didn't capture this on film because I didn't expect it, but it started changing color instantly before it even touched it. Parts of the barbell that were smooth, the two ends, that actually shined up to back to chrome almost like instantly. When I put the rest of the rust buster on the bits that had more grip, that actually needed the uh, Ryobi drill quite a bit. I didn't know at the time was, is that it dries up very, very quickly and I did have it outside in the sun. So, some bits were just falling off due to the rust buster and the other bits were actually converting. Weight plate changed to a black. I originally didn't think that it even worked. I was like, oh, that was disappointing. But then the very next day when I took it outside, you can actually see it had rust converted. So it doesn't always look like it's changed because when it converts, it's just a darker color of the rust. I couldn't tell which bits had fully converted and which bits I needed to like scrub off a bit harder. So after I'd painted it, uh, they became more, more noticeable that I'd missed bits. They're these like ugly bits that are like sticking out. So those actually just like scraped off. So I actually told the guy that, that that's probably rust. And he just said, oh, it's fine. He was so happy. $55. He says that was a steal for an Olympic barbell. Tips for next time is to put the rust buster on the barbell, not in the sun and just put it in small increments, just like a little bit, and then drill that off as thoroughly as you can and then move on to the next section. And if you're also wondering and why my voice sounds like this, is because I had to go on a cruise. On that cruise, I got COVID. So that was a great p &O cruise. If you're wondering what p &O stands for, it stands for Potential Omicron. Whatever you think you can't fit, you could fit one more chair.